Hello you lot, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to make a pie, because <laughs> pies are my favourite thing. It's going to be a turkey and ham pie with an egg, or a long egg, down the middle. So this kind of pie with the long egg down the middle is usually it's it's a pork pie and it's known as a gala pie, I don't know why. But there's another version which is called a Grosvenor pie and that's veal and ham. Now we really can't get veal in this country, not easily, and I don't think I want to anyway. So my version is going to be turkey and ham and it's not leftover turkey and ham like from Christmas. The turkey hasn't been pre-cooked. So it's going to be wonderful, beautiful, tasty, and let's do it. If you like this video, press like. Job number one, make pastry. I'm going to do hot water pastry because that's kind of traditional. I've got 500 grams of plain all-purpose flour. I've got 125 grams each of butter and lard. I've got 175 ml of water, a teaspoon of salt. I need to chop those into cubes. Now I need to pop the fat into a pan along with the water and we're going to heat that up until the fat melts but really you don't want it to boil rapidly. So while the fat's melting I'll just add the salt to the flour. The fat's all melted so we'll make a well in the centre of the flour and put about half the liquid in. And we just do it in two stages because it's easier to mix it. Okay, let's put the rest in. I've got all the liquid in now. Now we need to wrap that in plastic film and stick it in the fridge to rest for half an hour. People think because it's called hot water pastry that you have to use it when it's hot. And in fact, that's almost impossible to do. So don't. Now for the filling, I've got a 750 gram smoked gammon joint and a turkey leg. I mean, this is ridiculous. This this is one. That's the the drumstick. This is the thigh. So I think I'll I'll just use the thigh. I won't actually get all of that in. And a long egg. So you probably won't be crazy enough to make your own long egg because you are sensible people and I love you. So what you can do is boil four or five eggs, peel them and chop the ends off. And seasonings: salt, white pepper, thyme, and a bit of tarragon. Alright, I need to debone this, get the skin off and mince it. So actually if you just buy ready minced turkey that would be fine. Although I am going to keep some of it in larger chunks for a texture. Now I'm going to use this loaf tin to make my pie in. It's a fairly big one, it's 13 centimetres wide, that's 5 and a quarter inches. And 23 long and that's 9 inches and it's 7 centimetres high, that's just under 3 inches. Nice chunky thing. Now there's a bone. This is, this is actually the thigh of the uh, turkey. So I'm just trying to cut down the side of the bone as close to it as you can. Right, so I've chopped most of the turkey into big chunks that will go through the mincer and I've kept that bit whole, I'll cut that down into small dice in a minute. <laughs> okay, let's get this noisy beast working. I'm going to make up my seasoning mix, so a teaspoon of tarragon, a teaspoon of thyme, a half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of white pepper, been quite restrained with these because the um, the ham will probably be quite salty. So mixy mixy and really the only way to do this is by hand so I'm sorry if that upsets you. I'm not really. There we go, a nice smoothish mix apart, apart from the, the whole chunks of turkey. So put that in the fridge and then we'll deal with the ham and actually have a good clean up, give all of this and the mincer a good wash. Now I'm going to make jelly stock before 
actually make the pie because uh, it'll, it'll take some time to get it right. You can do it three ways. You can do it in a conventional saucepan on a stove top and that will take about three hours. You can do it in a pressure cooker, it will take 30 minutes. Or you can do it in a slow cooker crock pot uh, for minimum eight hours, probably overnight. So I'm, I'm using my pressure cooker and uh, I forgot to film everything going in. So in here we've got a pig's trotter. We've got the bone and the skin from the turkey earlier. A quartered onion, a couple of sticks of celery, roughly chopped, two carrots, roughly chopped, a couple of bay leaves and a small handful of uh, whole black peppercorns. So we'll just oop, add enough water to cover everything and then bring it up to pressure and cook it for 30 minutes. Now the ham, I've decided not to mince it, I'm just going to slice it thinly and then we can just arrange it in layers. So I don't think I'll need all of that. I'll cut about half of it into chunky slices. So another time for that and um, I'll put these in the fridge. This is probably still too much for one pie. Okay, time to do the pastry thing. So, flour on your worktop. And your rolling pin. And I'm going to do the lid first. I'll take about a third of the dough and roll it into a rectangle that's just a bit bigger than the tin. And then I'll just put it around the ruler. And now I'm going to use my new toy, this is a lattice roller, to make a lattice to stick on top of that. Just, just to make it extra posh, you don't have to do that at all, it's completely optional. So I've rolled out this piece of pastry, thinner than that one, um, and it's longer than the tin because we need to have something to hold on to while, while we cut the lattice and uh, also I'm going to keep a border on this side because, well, it makes it easier. So start a couple of centimetres from the end, about an inch, and just slowly run the roller over, applying quite a lot of pressure to make sure it cuts all the way through and then I can just place that on there and tease it open and there we go so I'm just going to trim the excess off and stick that in the fridge to rest. Actually before I do that I'm going to glaze it. I've got uh, a couple of egg yolks there with um, oops, a bit too much water. <laughs> I'll just paint that all over. Now I'm going to do the base of the pie but I'm going to try an experiment and uh, I might you know, fail miserably or I might not. Because I got a comment a couple of weeks ago from somebody on one of my pie videos. He'd never made a pie but he's a potter and his instinct would be to build it up like using slab technique. And I thought, what a silly idea, but actually it might not be that silly. So I'm going to try it. So I've rolled out this pastry which will be uh, the bottom and the two long sides. So normally I would have a huge sheet of pastry and I just kind of drape it over and work it in and inevitably you get cracks and holes and yeah it's not always great so we'll see oh and also I thought you can maybe make patterns in the sides and the bottom so I'll try that as well okay so I've done this sort of quilting thing on one side and um, well another quilting thing on the other side with a knife but I've actually cut through the, the pastry there, so that's not too clever. So you can get it into the tin. Plenty of flour to stop it sticking.
now I need to roll out some little panels for the ends. So there's one panel, I'll just uh, put some glaze on the edges. Looking good. Um, like it might work. <laughs> so now we'll fill it with filling. Just use my old potato masher to flatten it. Now a layer of ham. Now I've got a thin layer of turkey mince and a long egg. And we just pop that in there. And then build up some turkey mince around it. So you want the um, mince tucked in as close to the egg as you can get it. And now I want more ham. Cut some straight edges on this because otherwise we'll have gaps where we don't want gaps. I didn't think we'd use all the, the filling but it looks like we're going to get close. So finally a layer of turkey to completely cover the long egg and a bit of ham to cover that bit. <laughs> okay let's put the lid on. Now you want to get your oven preheating to 165 celsius for a fan oven, convection oven, that's 185 for a conventional one and that's gas 5. Now I'm just going to paint the edges and put the lid on. I think that, that needs to warm up a bit, it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty solid. I think I should have been more generous with my pastry overhang on the base but um, well this is what I've got so I'm just working it together with the, the top so get it nice and smooth and then we can kind of do a kind of crimp. It's worked better on this side because there's more space for it but I'm just learning you know I'm a, an apprentice. I'll right, just pop a bit of glaze on the edge and then that goes in the oven for 50 to 55 minutes and turn it around halfway through. Alright, so the stock stuff is cooked. Now I need to drain it into a pan and boil it rapidly till it reduces by about half. Okay, time's up, so let's have a look at our gorgeous pie. Oh. So, that needs to cool down. Um, and then I'll try and get it out of the tin. And then we'll put the jelly in. Right, I'm going to try and get the pie out of the tin. Cool, it's heavy. <laughs> What? Oh, genius! <laughs> uh oh, I'm losing all my juice, as it were. Oh, pop that back in. They always say with uh, things like bread and stuff that's in a tin, that's baked in a tin, that you should get it out as quickly as you can so that uh, the uh, condensation as it's cooling doesn't give you a soggy bottom. I don't mind a soggy bottom and that didn't look like one. What, I will, what I'm going to do is inject the jelly while it's still in a tin and get that to set and then we'll open it up so that'll be tomorrow now because it's late okay it's the next day so here's the beautiful pie and here's my jelly stock which has set pretty solidly the the creamy white stuff on the top is fat i've tried to scrape as much of that off as i can so i need to liquefy that on the stove and I'll possibly add a bit more water so it doesn't set quite as hard um, and massive syringe flavor injector off we go okay that's liquid so I'll just pour some in this glass so I can see what's happening so you can see what's happening make a hole in each corner I think I don't know if you can see, but as, as I'm putting it in this end, it's popping out the other end, so I'm guessing that's full. But I'm going to try these other corners just in case there's like cavities. 
Okay. That pie is full of meat, long egg, and jelly. So, right, I'll put that in the fridge to set. Beautiful pie, all jellied up. And so let's de tin it. Whoa. Oh, yeah. That is pretty, uh, pretty spectacular. And the where I've um, scored scored it on the side, that's that's worked fairly well. And on the other side where I'd embossed it with the bamboo skewer. So yeah, woo, marvellous, go me. Okay, what to do? Shall I cut it open? <laughs> okay, muddy shot. Da, da, da. The layering of the different meats isn't as obvious as I wanted. Maybe I should have outlined them with spinach or something. But uh, I think that is a pretty marvellous pie. Okay, and now it's taste test time with Mrs. Keith Cooks. <laughs> Hello! Egg pie? You have? Oh, that looks splendid. Cool. <laughs> oh, well done. Oh, and you got the diamond pattern on the side as well. I know. Oh, you, you artist, you. Clever. <laughs> Clever. Clever bunny. Absolutely love holding mustard. Don't yeah. mind me. Whoopla. <laughs> is this not structural pastry then? Is it decorative? Big broke. <laughs> Was clean. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Mm. Nice. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> wow. Good looking egg. Mm. This this would be absolutely splendid for a picnic or a, a big buffet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, that loaf tin was. Uh, Possibly a bit too big. <laughs> it makes the pie look, it makes the egg look like a, a teeny one, like a quail's egg. But, Which is very posh. <laughs> mm. So, how many different kinds of meat have you got in here? Because I can see three different colours. Uh, well, we've got turkey and ham. Mm -hmm. But some of the turkey is minced and some of it is chunks. <laughs> this is really good. It's oh. really tasty and it's so moist. Wow. Mm. Which is surprising for Turkey. Mm. Okay, we like that. Maybe it's lunchtime. <laughs> so I'm going to eat and run. I'll run and eat. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching and see you next time.